Hello, my name's SJ. I'm a high school maths teacher. I teach in community college education. I'm based here in the UK. I'm a Google certified trainer and innovator, proud member of the VIA 20 cohort. In this video, we're going to take a look at Google Forms as a tool for doing an entry ticket when students begin work in your class. So let's take a look. We're going to start by asking them to review some material or watch a video and then assess their knowledge on what they've seen or reviewed all within the same Google form. So to start with, in this example, we're going to add a video and we do that with this right hand button saying add video. From here, you can search or you can insert the URL if you found it elsewhere direct to the video that you've selected. It has to be a YouTube video. So here we've selected a video from our own channel about Google Classroom. We've selected it, made it go blue, and it's select to insert it into the form. Now, instead of titling the video, I'm going to write in, please watch this video. And then I'm going to insert a question for the students underneath. And to insert a question, it's this right the hand side and add a question. So I've written my question and I have the option here for a multiple choice, short answer, paragraph, check boxes, and lots of other options. I'm going to leave it as multiple choice because this is a quick entry ticket. I would really like this to be self-marking so that I can see at a glance how the students have got on. So I'm going to leave it as multiple choice today. You have the option here under the three dots to shuffle the option order as well, randomizing it for whenever students sit the form. We now need to be able to enter the correct answer and the answer key feature is not showing at the moment. We need to turn this form into a quiz and we do this under the settings wheel here. And then we click quizzes and we click make this a quiz and save. You can see now that the answer key has appeared. Going into the answer key then, we can select the correct answer and that then shows as green. We can also add answer feedback. For incorrect answers, we want to, might want to guide them to a video for them to go back over a key concept. And for correct answers, we might want to guide students to a website or some material that links to one of the first tasks in the lesson today to give them stretch and challenge. In this example, I'm going to insert a video for the incorrect answers. So I'm going to click here to add a video. So I've searched my video and found it, selected it, and we're gonna save. You can now see that for incorrect answers, students will be given this video to watch to help them gain further knowledge that they didn't gain from the first video that we gave them. Once we click done, we then return back into the questions setting rather than the answer key settings of the Google form. What we need to do now is preview the form and see how this looks for students. And to do that, we use this eye icon here for preview. So here we are, we can watch the video. We've put in the incorrect answer and we're going to hit submit. Your response has been recorded. We can view our score and we got an incorrect answer. It's telling us what the correct answer is. It's given us the feedback of not quite right and it's given us another video so we can gain more knowledge. We can see now that we've had one response to this form and that was the one that I just did on the preview. What we can do is we can pull these into a spreadsheet so we can see at a glance who got the questions right and wrong for the whole class and all we're going to do is click create spreadsheet and we're going to create a new spreadsheet what we can do now is we can rename this tab entry ticket and the next time we create an exit ticket we can link it to the same spreadsheet and add a separate tab thus allowing us to flick between the two to see the progress made by the students so that was a little introduction as to how to use a Google form to create an entry ticket for assessing students' knowledge after reviewing material.